Welcome back, my young, brilliant artist of H.O. Nash Lions. Welcome back, grade eight. So our topic is going to be about still life drawing. Okay, students, our objectives for today. Number one, identify the characteristics of still life from photos presented with a 60% accuracy. Number two, discuss your understanding of still life by critiquing Bahamian artist Kirsten Smith and Amos Ferguson's paintings. Number three, complete individual drawings of a still life object. Okay, students, let's take a look at these artwork. One by Kirsten Smith, the other Quinesia Smith. Now, which artwork displays the characteristics of still life? Is it Kirsten Smith or is it Quinesia Smith? Well, if you said Quinesia Smith, you are correct. Kirsten Smith painting actually displays the characteristics of landscape painting. All right, students, what is still life? Can you remember what we discussed in our previous lesson about still life? Okay, let's take a look. Well, still life includes man-made or natural objects such as cut flowers, fruits, vegetables, wine, and so forth. It refers to objects that are inanimate, meaning lifeless, dead, non-living. Okay, students, let's take a look at two paintings, one by Amos Ferguson, the other, Kirsten Smith. Can you identify which painting displays the characteristics of still life? Is it Amos Ferguson or is it Kirsten Smith? Well, if you said Amos Ferguson, you are correct. So, Kirsten Smith's painting actually displays landscape painting, okay? Okay, now you would have created and completed a drawing of your grapes, banana, apple and pineapple for your quiz. And great job to you students that actually did a wonderful and awesome job. Now, you also would have created a drawing of a still life object using one foot of a shoe. Now, you would have chosen that shoe. You would have placed it in a position that's comfortable to you. And you would have completed a sketch drawing including the values, the different values in that drawing. And great job. And this is my shoe, so I chose this shoe. And that's my shoe that I would have sketched. And great job again to those who would have completed that assignment. Okay, students, so we're on to our next assignment. And here are the instructions. Number one, choose an eyeglasses, whether sunglasses or prescription glasses. Number two, place eyeglasses in a position or a desired position, your choice. Number three, draw a detailed image of the eyeglasses also focus on different value scales or value levels that is 
light, medium, and dark shades, okay? Okay, students, so you're going to view a short video clip demonstrating how to set up your eyeglasses. Now, you can set it up in a different way. And it's demonstrating how to sketch it out. Just to give you an idea. So students, I want that assignment completed today. And so I know that you are brilliant and that you can get it done. <laughs>